Yo guys, what is going on? Got a Gaiumon Black War Gray deck profile for you guys for the BT9 format. This is a really, really uh, fun deck I've been messing around. Probably tier 1.5-ish to status. Uh, so definitely not an ultra competitive deck, but it has a lot of cool answers uh, to the current meta deck. So if you're just looking for something different to play, uh, or you're a big fan of like the Greymon Tribal kind of archetype, uh, look no further because I've got a profile for you. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started with the Digi Eggs playing the four copies of Koromon and one copy of uh, Guramon. Uh, now I know uh, I've seen a lot of builds with black bases, but uh, me personally, I think I value the consistency uh, over uh, any of the um, maybe DP boosts or anything uh, else that the other eggs could offer you, just because I think that's probably Black War Greymon's biggest crutch is getting to your stack. Once you have your stack, you know, you've got the ability to pop tamers, Digimon, attack on suspended dudes, all that sort of really broken effects. Um, but kind of making that stack early on is kind of the deck's biggest downfall and probably the reason why um, it hasn't seen too much success. Uh, so that's why I'm playing uh, the four copies of Cormon and of course just the fifth egg uh, for those more grindy matchups. Uh, for the rookies, the uh, count has changed a little bit uh, since the last format. So playing four copies of Tapirmon. Uh, now this guy is not an Agumon, however, he is uh, very valuable for two reasons. One, he's got an all turns DP boost, so it makes your Black War Greymon 13,000 during your opponent's turn, as well as your Gaiamon 14,000, so it makes them uh, pretty strong blockers. Uh, and not only that, um, but it is, of course, searchable off of your new Maki Tamer, which is pretty much the main reason why you want to play is if Maki didn't search this guy, I probably wouldn't play it. Um, so it's, it's just an extra consistency card. Maki helps you uh, see your rookies uh, early on. So tape your mon. Really, really nice stuff. Um, and then for the Searcher Agumons, uh, this one, uh, I wasn't the biggest fan of the Black Agumon last format, but it has become uh, much better. So this is the uh, level 3 Searcher where uh, on play you get to search uh, a Greymon w as well as a Dragonkin, a Digimon with Dragonkin uh, in its type. So that not only includes um, the, you know, the Black War Greymons like before, but it also includes Gaiomon. So being able to search uh, your pieces that you need uh, for, um, you know, your stack is really, really important. Uh, so these guys pretty standard um kind of uh the more spicy stuff align kind of the more spicy uh tech options for this is um of course two copies of the searcher agumon um from bt5 and then two copies of agumon x now this one is pretty straightforward uh, it's just another searcher so you're basically playing eight searchers in the deck uh with these four guys uh this one just searches a greymon and omnimon however i'm not playing omnimon in this deck so these two effectively do the same task where they just search a digimon with greymon in its name so basically any card um out of your level fours fives and sixes um however Agumon X is here uh, for the couple of scenarios uh, where if you've got, um, you know, you play something off of a Nokia, like say you're at three memory, you play something off of Nokia, get a search, you can straight up evolve, uh, draw a card, get another search off of that. So Agumon X is really nice. And then of course, uh, I am actually playing uh, the Greymon X in this build just to protect from card effects. So having the ability to detach uh, two times to save yourself from being bounced or deleted, being uh, like having a stack that looks like this with Agumon. Agumon, Agumon X, and then maybe like a Greymon plus Greymon X. So you can first like detach these two and then detach these two, I think is pretty valuable. Um, so that is the reason why I'm playing the Agumon X lineup. But effectively, like I said, you're playing eight searches in this deck, so it helps a lot uh, with the consistency. Uh, now for the level fours, we've got a uh, new card from uh, BT9, or I guess the box toppers from BT9 is going to be three copies of Deltamon. This guy is a really, really powerful card uh, in the deck. Uh, he has a couple of cool effects. So his first main effect during your turn, and when this Digimon would digivolve into a card with two colors or composite in its traits, uh, reduce that digivolution cost by two. So it effectively makes all of your level fives a uh, two cost inherently. And then if you got Maki on the field, you can reduce it even further. So one of the biggest reasons why the deck was so slow, um, or at least is, is still slow if, if you're not, you know, if you don't got the Delta Mon, um, is because Metal Greymon, you almost always have to pass turn. Um, you typically all need like a memory tamer plus a nokia or something to be able to digivolve for three um but now if you've got um just deltamon you can evolve him for two and if you've got something like a maki on field you can even uh, go down as far as one so it kind of acts as like a uh, starter deck gatomon in that sense it really uh, speeds up the deck and now of course he's a three evolution cost but that is reducible by maki and then when attacking you can um delete any number of uh 
Digimon 3000 or less for each of this Digimon's colors. So typically that's going to be two because your uh, stacks are going to be red and black. But the off chance you evolve into something like a Chimeramon, you can actually delete uh, three things. So you've got a lot of board control in that sense as well. I am also playing uh, one copy of Cyclonemon. Uh, this should definitely be a fourth copy of uh, Deltamon. I would highly recommend you guys just play four Deltamon. I actually just don't own uh, four Deltamon at the time of recording this video. And so I'm just playing one copy of this. Um, it effectively saves a serves the same purpose where it's just a dual color that you can search off of Maki. Um, it has a deletion inherited effect, uh, but I think Deltamon offers a lot more uh, value overall. So guys, that is going to be uh, for the dual color lineup. Um, and then we are also playing uh, the Grey Greymon lineup with uh, four copies of the Blocker Inherited Greymon and then three copies of Greymon X. So this one I think is without a doubt a four of um, being able to establish a reboot blocker stack is kind of one of your biggest uh, you know advantages to playing the deck. Really the only thing you won't be able to deal with is something like a Grandest Quagamon being able to sp suspend the Gaiamon. Um, however, typically the uh, blocker early on is really uh, strong against a lot of the aggro decks and then Greymon X, um, I just wanted uh, mainly just like another Greymon, so um, I wasn't, I was considering uh, something like started at Greymon as well as uh, the uh, BT5 Greymon. However, since you are playing a lot of uh, black level 3s, um, the consistency of this is a little bit uh, lowered um, just because it is a red, like you know, it can only evolve on red. Uh, however, the fact that you can evolve on a Greymon, that's typically what you will be doing um so typically you're just going to evolve this for two and then evolve this for zero uh so it's another way to cycle cards in your deck and then lastly just uh one copy of a monochromon this is just uh one of the blockers another dual colored uh card so it's searchable off of um the uh maki there that is going to be it uh, for the uh, level four count and then for the level fives we are playing uh, four copies of metal Greymon. Uh, this I still think is pretty much the best level five in the deck two really powerful effects the digivolving something and then deleting something with 3000 or lower but of course the real reason we play him is for that uh, inherited effect where if this Digimon has Dragon King or Machine Industries you can attack unsuspended Digimon is just so oppressive uh, with D Reaper w recently winning a big tournament uh, the fact that you can attack into your mother D Reaper is pretty much um, a win condition against that deck makes that matchup a lot easier um, and then just lets you out uh, a lot of your opponent's things things like um, your opponent's alpha mon stacks that have Dora Greymon underneath them maybe it can be deleted by card effect or DP reduced or something like that so being able to just attack into it is really really important um, and then for the other level fours uh, playing two copies of the Mega Dramon this is another dual color from BT9 uh, really powerful effects here we've got when digivolving delete one of your opponent's Digimon or Tamers with a play cost or three or less and then his inherited effect is effectively the same thing when attacking as long as it's got dragon kinder machine and the cool thing about that is it's actually not once per turn so if you've got something uh like black war greymon over him where you're like black war greymon uh swing into uh like a suspended digimon or something or just swing security um this effect delete a rookie unsuspend check a security card swing again delete a tamer something like that so you can do a lot of really cool combos with the mega dramon uh and then of course being reducible by by both the Deltamon and the Maki helps you speed up a little bit. Uh, and then lastly, two copies of Chimeramon. This card is really, really essential for fixing your stacks. Um, there's a lot of times where maybe your opponent hits a Metal Greymon in security, um, or maybe like a Greymon X or something. Uh, so this helps you uh, uh, fish out for those inheritors that you want uh, to have on your big stacks. And then also gets you a lot of materials for your big OTK win condition that we'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, and there's also another really cool interaction. Again, the reason why I think Deltamon is so powerful. Uh, we all know about the dual color reduction, but he also reduces um, composite Digimon, and Chimeramon is actually a composite. So if you got an awkward hand where you can't uh, exactly DNA Digivolve a Chimeramon, you can still Digivolve into a Chimeramon for a two cost, still get its on evolve of sticking something underneath, deleting, um, or doing like minus two, three thousand to something. Actually, you do minus three thousand since you've got three colors already off of a Deltamon. Uh, so there's a lot of really cool interactions that you can do um, with the Chimera, which is why I still think it's really really essential if you're playing a big stack deck like this uh, so that's going to do it for the level fives uh, for the level sixes 
uh, playing three copies of the Black War Greymon. Uh, I don't actually think four is essential. Um, this card is, of course, very, very powerful, being able to delete tamers. Uh, cool boys and, um, you know, memory tamers are running around in the format. Uh, Alphamon being one of the best decks, being able to pop multiple UGs, multiple cool boys, is really, really powerful. Uh, and then being able to unsuspend uh, whenever one of your opponent's Digimon is deleted effectively gives you the chance to swing twice, especially if you got something like the Metal Greymon underneath. You can swing twice into uh, opponent's unsuspended Digimon. And, of course, the new addition to this deck is going to be three copies uh, of Gaiamon. This card is always treated as Black War Greymon, or, or actually having uh, Greymon in its name, rather. It digivolves um, from two from Black War Greymon. So usually um, this is a very, very good follow-up. You can, um, you know, pass turn with uh, the Black War Greymon, and then following turn Digivolve for two, and then um, start swinging from there. He's got uh, four key words. So he's got Sec Attack plus one Reboot inherently. So whenever you Digivolve him, you're typically going to get all four effects since you're pretty easily getting mixed colors underneath him. Um, but when Digivolving, if he's got a black Digimon, you get Devolve one on one of your opponent's Digimon. And then if he gets a, a red Digimon, uh, you get Blitz, which is definitely very, very powerful. Uh, the combo of Blitz and being able to attack into an unsuspended Digimon is just really, really oppressive. Gaiomon is just a fantastic addition to the deck and helps you, um, you know, play around the fact that you're being memory choked sometimes. Uh, the fact that your opponent puts you to one or two or even three and you don't have um, like a Machion field to be able to reduce the Black War Greymon to three. You can just Digivolve this for five, Blitz into them anyways, check a couple security card. And then of course being a reboot uh, means that you don't lose the fact, um, you don't lose aggression even though you're swinging to security. You can just reboot with your blocker um, inherited for their turn anyways. And then lastly, just playing one copy of the promo Black War Greymon. I still think this card is really, really powerful. Uh, combos with uh, Chimeramon really well and just being able to OTK your opponent uh, is still definitely necessary. Um, a lot of the times, of course, you're going to get early damage in with a Gaimon, but maybe against some of the grindy matchups like set control or something, uh, this can come in clutch. Uh, so that's going to do it for the level 6s. And then for the level 7 Digimon, I am actually just playing one copy of Dexmon. Um, Dexmon is a really, really powerful uh, Digimon. This format, just being able to answer so many boards, it's just absolutely disgusting being able to, able to digi de digivolve your opponent's Digimon, kill all their level 4s or lower, and then just puts them on a clock if they don't out it. You're just going to keep Keep, um, did you're just going to keep deleting all of their Digimon with the lowest play cost. Uh, so if they've only got one thing on field, you're just going to delete it. So this is a really, really uh, nice follow-up against um, decks that really uh, like to go wide. Uh, and then it is also a black dual color Digimon. Uh, so you can actually Digivolve it for six if need be on top of one of your level sixes. And you can actually search this off of your Maki, um, the fact that it is a black purple dual color Digimon. So I thought it was at least uh, worth playing at uh, one. So that's going to do it uh, for the Digimon. On for the tamers here, we are playing uh, four copies of Maki Shimekawa, uh, two copies of Hero, uh, and this is um, pretty much I, all I think you need. Uh, I am not playing Nokia in this build as much as I like Nokia. I don't think you necessarily uh, need it in this specific version of the deck. Uh, Hero sets your memory to three. This also helps you uh, boost your DP if you need to go um, any higher or if you're swinging early, perhaps. Uh, Maki is simultaneously a consistency card as well as a Nokia. Uh, she has the on-play effect of real, real top three cards of your deck. Add a Tapermon as well as a two uh, color black Digimon amongst them to your hand. So potential plus two when you play her. Um, and then during your turn, when one of your Digimon would Digivolve into a Digimon with uh, two colors, including black, you can suspend her to reduce that cost by one. So this is just a really, really fantastic card. Simultaneously cons offers consistency and also speeds up your deck. And lastly, for the option cards, I am playing uh, one copy of Delicate Plan to go with the Black War Greymon OTK. Uh, and then one copy of Gaia Force Zero is my spicy. Uh, removal, one of, uh, this card has a reduction condition, but it's not really relevant in this deck. Um, it basically just has the effect of delete one of your opponent's Digimon at 13,000 or lower, uh, and then one of your Digimon with Greymon can attack your opponent. So this is really cool um, with something like uh, Gaiomon. What you can do is, like, if you've got Gaiomon on the field, you can, like, Gaia Force Zero, delete something, uh, swing into your opponent's security, check two cards, and then during their turn, it'll reboot, so you'll still have the blocker um, if, if that's applicable. Uh, but I just really wanted, like, a removal card. You could definitely play, like, regular Gaia Force or maybe, like, an Atomic Blaster or something. And then the last option card we are playing is just two copies of Black Memory Boost. I actually think Black... Uh, is better in this deck uh, than red because of the fact um, that you've got your black rookies. Um, you've got eight black rookies, so these would not be searchable by the red memory boost, as well as your uh, blocker Greymon here, which is pretty essential. So for mo most times, uh, you are going to be wanting the black over the red. Uh, the slight downside is that 
Um, you can't uh, use this if you've got like just an egg in your breeding area and this is like your turn one. Uh, so you typically are going to need to see like a Maki or something before you do anything with this. But I still think I prefer this over the red. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's going to do it for the deck list. Let me know what you guys think of Black or Greymon down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time.